good, y'all? It is your boy, The Shows, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. So, New York City, my hometown, where I'm from, we seem to have a problem. And the only way that problem is going to be solved is if there's accountability, there's responsibility to be held on everyone's part, not just certain people. But also, uh, it's, it's a very fair and simple solution or multiple solutions to the problem. It's just people are either in denial or some are lazy. The point is, people, this is a very solvable problem, but it just seems like no one really wants to admit it. See, we have this big pest problem in the city. It's gotten to the point where New York has been dubbed the Rat City. I don't think that's a very flattering name. I don't even like the fact that we are associated with that name, the Rat City. Just, It just seems uh, very insulting, you know what I mean? But the other thing is we have these giant cockroaches who sometimes decide to just, you know, fly and i'm like what is this witchcraft i remember the first time i saw that i might have been maybe like i'm gonna say maybe 14 or 15 when i first seen this during the summer i was very terrified very terrified to the point where i just i said how was it even possible that i will kill it i mean you can kill the, the roach that flies it's just you're gonna have to stomp on it a couple of times but what am I really trying to say here? Well, okay. Look. We we really do have an issue of three um, types of pests that are in the city. And, and just, you know, from my general point of view, you probably think that pigeons are pests. And I guess squirrels and maybe possums or raccoons. Depending on where you are, but honestly... I don't really deal with those type of animals that much. So the three pests that I find that are more common in this city especially is mice, rats, and roaches. So what can we do to combat the problem? Because this could apply to really anywhere in the world, including, you know, New York. Um, but, you know, like I said, more people need to be held accountable and responsible for this so that we can all just kind of, you know, reduce the problem. You, you never really can truly kill all the pests in the world that would just be impossible because they multiply babies like crazy when they mate <laughs> but anyway so i would say your goal should definitely be prevention and that's gonna start with probably discarding of garbage number two would be sealing all the cracks and you know exposed holes that are in your you know walls and stuff around your house your apartment you know wherever you are and then the third thing of course would be um cleaning up um you know and not really leaving out trash wherever you see it but especially in, in public but i don't know i feel like a lot of people in my city forgot what a garbage can is let alone what the recycling is. You don't, you walk around Times Square at night, you walk around really anywhere at night in New York, especially in the subway, you can see the rats, you can see the roaches every so often, especially running around like the walls and stuff. But uh, yeah, man, those are the three things. Discarding of garbage properly, sealing up the holes, you know, wherever you see them exposing your house or your apartment, like I said. And making sure that you're not just leaving garbage anywhere. I think the other thing would also have to be... Holding the other people accountable for when they're not doing these things. You know, because this is why we tend to have such a high population of rats to begin with. Especially, like I said, the roaches and stuff. Look, man. It's a well-known fact that they're scavengers, and I respect that. But when they start to enter people's homes, that's that's pretty uh, it's pretty invasive, and you know that they love 
to just eat about anything, even down to the dead skin and fall, f falling out hair of people. Yeah, roaches especially. Um, this video just a little all over the place, not gonna lie to you. But yeah, um, my, my whole point is, if we do those three things, if we just do those three things, I, I guarantee um, the rat, roach, and mice problem will be greatly reduced in New York. I don't really know about anywhere else, but here especially, um, that would just be great. This way we can stop being called the rat city, especially. That was, uh, that was very, this, um, this, um, just offensive to hear, really. The rat city, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, that's my video. Didn't really want to do too much today. Just wanted to give out that little public service announcement. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And share this with anyone you know in New York City, like myself. Because I feel like we can all do our part, though. You know, it can't just be one person. It can't just be one type of person. We all have to do our part to greatly reduce this pest problem, I feel. And this way we can go about our lives a little more peacefully without having to be concerned that when we turn on the lights in the bathroom or the kitchen especially, we'll see these things scattering about or whatever. But yeah, so it's your boy The Shows. You know, I make new videos for every Thursday. Once again, thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, I post every Thursday. So all the links for everything else is in the description down below if you want my more recent video then click that over there and uh if you want my more recent reactions then click that playlist over there all right so i'm gonna go edit this in a while so it's your boy the shows and i'll see you guys next time when i upload peace